ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. We're halfway through the season in our quest for a new K-Check champion, but the search continues at tuloy pa rin ang brain power challenge sa ating mga contestants. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Tyne. Tyne is a student of UP Diliman. He likes to travel solo. His hobbies are watching movies, dancing, yoga, and writing poems. He is an avid fan of Ho Hozier. Is this Hozier? Yeah. Don't Hozier. you take your whiskey neat? <laughs> we also have Noah Kahan or Kahan and Lord. And next, we have Hans. Hans is a multimedia art student of UE Kaluokan. He's interested in films, singing, and dancing. He spends his free time watching horror movies, playing guitar, and learning dance choreographies. Next, we have RC. RC is a red warrior from the University of the East, a third-year student taking up Bachelor of Multimedia Arts. He is also currently the chief photographer of UE's official publication, UE Dawn. He likes to play games, listening to music, drawing, painting, and watching anime. He is also a freelance photographer. And finally, we have Jam. Jam is a geodetic engineering student from UP Diliman. Hailing from Butuan City, Agusan del Norte. She sings in a band and in a choir. Her hobbies include watching TV series, singing, and traveling. She aims to become a volcanologist or a seismologist someday. Tamang tama yan, kasi baka pumutok. Sana naman hindi ang mang kamlaon sa, at sa ang taan. So anyway, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Siyempre, nandito po ang UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Assistant Professor Marla Indriga of the Department of Biology, UP Manila. And of course, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, mga contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Sa round na to, correct answers are 10 points each. So, get ready to buzz in and collect those points because it's time. Let's, Let's begin. begin! This is round one. Question number one. What word for a battery-operated torch is a cell phone feature and the title of two different songs of Haley Steinfeld and Jesse J? Jam. Flashlight. Flashlight is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What nocturnal bird that has large forward-facing eyes is known for its hooting sound? Jam. Owl. Owl is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. According to Shakespeare, what animal has nine lives? Jam. Cat. Cat is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Former Ateneo Varsity member Maxine Esteban represented Ivory Coast at the 2023 African Fencing Championships and the 2024 Paris Olympics in what sport? Fine. Fencing. Fencing is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Mount Aconcagua is the highest mountain on which continent? Nine. South America. South America is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In what region can you find the island of Sikihor? Nine. Central Visayas region. Let me proceed. Sikihor, Chocolate Hills, and Magellan's Cross. He said Central Visayas or Region 7. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number 7. In astronomy, what planet, aside from Venus, can only be seen in the sky within one hour of sunrise or sunset? Hans. Mars. Mars is wrong. Anyone can see a jam? Saturn. Saturn is wrong. 
Tyne or RC can answer? RC. Mercury. Mercury is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In mental algebra, if x is equal to 5, what is 5x minus 2? Jam. 23. 23 is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In English literature, what is the shape of the table of the Knights of King Arthur? The correct answer is round. Question number 10. What planet's revolution around the sun lasts about 30 years, which is significant in astrology? As this age is when a person is believed to enter a new stage of life. Hans. Saturn. Saturn is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What does an entomologist study? Correct answer is insects. Last question for this round, number 12. What 2024 Sheryl Crow song has a title that means the gradual development of animals or other things? The correct answer is evolution. And that's it for round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. And after that first round, we have Jam in the lead with 40 points, followed by Tyne with 30 points. Hans and RC are tied for third place. And syempre, bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating K-Check today, ito na ang ating paboritong segment dito dahil dito natin kinikilala ng just a little bit more ang ating mga contestants. At ito ang ating segment na tinatawag nating... Kay Chica! So, unahin natin si Tain. Tain, napansin namin na yung mga activities na kinahihiligan nyo, medyo solitary talaga, di ba? Yoga, writing, poetry, at kahit na nga ang travel, gusto mo solo. Usually kasi pag travel, lakad yan with family or friends. So, bakit mo natataypan yung solo travel na yan? Uh, for me, it's fulfilling and I get to know more about myself and I get to meet different people and learn about the, their culture and I'm just, I just like it because it's out of my comfort zone. Pero I'm just wondering, ilan kayo, sa, ilan kayo magkakapatid sa pamilya? Uh, just two. So ayaw mo makasama yung kapatid mo? Joke lang, hindi naman, <laughs> hindi naman. Alam na natin kung bakit gusto ni Tain na nagta-travel ng solo. Yes. Salamat, Tain. Sunod naman si Han. So, Han, saan ka nanunood at nag-aaral ng mga dance choreography? Sa TikTok ba to sa YouTube? Uh, usually po on YouTube. Pero uh, may mga dances po na naaaral ko siya through TikTok. Through TikTok din? Apo. Tapos saan mo pinuperform itong mga natututunan mong choreo? Uh, so, napoperform ko po siya sa mga competitions and sa guestings po sa mga malls. Ayun, may guestings pala si Hans. Hans, ito na yung guesting mo sa K-Check. <laughs> Oo, baka mamaya, mamaya malalaman natin na si, si Jam, di ba? Mahilig naman kumanta. Baka pwede rin tayo magkaroon ng song and dance Variety number. show na tayo ngayon. <laughs> Parang kinabahan sila mas lalo. <laughs> so in any case, for now, maraming salamat, Tain and Hans. Pero babalik tayo in a bit para naman makausap din natin si RC at saka si Jam. So we'll talk to you again later. In the meantime, paghandaan naman natin ang round 2. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan checkpoints. Recap muna tayo. In the lead, si Jam with 40 points, followed by Tyne with 30 points. At tied naman sa third place, si Hans at RC with 10 points each. And as promised, babalikan natin si RC at saka si Jam. Dito sa ating portion, we call... Kay Chica! So, RC, we heard ikaw ay isang freelance photographer. So, ano ba ang iyong favorite subject? Uh, usually po, uh, more on models po. And sa ngayon po, medyo nagkaka-interest na po ako sa mga sports car po. Sports car photography. Sports yes. car. 
Saan ka naman pupunta para makunan sila? Ah, uh, actually may mga kakilala din po ako na ano. Mga usually mga urban or depende po sa mood nung sasakyan. Usually sa BGC, sa pag Sundays, mara <laughs> naglalabasan sila. Maraming salamat RC. Okay, ito naman si Jam. Sa pagkakaalam mo Jam, marami bang kababaihan sa field ng vo volcanology at seismology? Um, uh, emerging po yung mga women in STEM po, especially po dito sa volcanology and seismology. And I hope to be one of them someday then. So, bakit ito yung napili mo nung nag ka sa UPCAT dati? Um, well, ang first choice ko talaga is geology. Tapos okay. dito ako natanggap sa geodetic engineering, which is still related to geology then. And uh, na-inspire po kasi ako doon sa isang science class namin in elementary about volcanoes and earthquakes. So, that's, uh, ano, that's why I'm here. Nandito ako sa ano, for that. Nakaka-inspire pala yung earthquakes minsan. <laughs> Nakakatakot. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat, RC and Jam. At sana maging successful kayo sa mga careers na pinili ninyo. And now, it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin! This is round two contestants. Question number one. What general term refers to the inflammation of the joints? Time. Swollen. Swollen. Swollen is incorrect. Jam. Arthritis. Arthritis is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What three letter term is a unit of work done by a force of one dyne acting through a distance of one centimeter? The correct answer is erg. Question number three. What Middle Eastern country was ruled by Saddam Hussein until 2003? The correct answer is Iraq. Pinanganak na ba kayo ng 2003? Yes. Yeah. What year were you born? 2001. 2001 naman pala. Dapat alam nyo ang correct answer. I'm kidding. Question number four. What term that involves a small snake-like creature refers to a song that keeps repeating in one's mind? Jam. Earworm. Earworm is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. In 2019, which male singer hit number one in the music charts with Sunflower and Circles. Dine. Post Malone. Who with confidence? Post Malone is the correct answer. K-Chet. Question number six. What word that starts with the letter F refers to a crime punishable under the revised penal code of the Philippines? The F word is felony. Question number seven. What is the largest multiple of seven that is less than 100? The correct answer is 98. Question number eight. Which Toyota or Volvo vehicle model has a name that refers to a treeless zone of cold regions mostly north of the Arctic Circle or above the timberline on mountains. Hindi sasagot sana si Hans, but what were you about to answer sana? Everest. The correct answer is Tundra. Question number nine. The UPHSD Altas made history when they won the 2024 NCAA Men's Volleyball title for the fourth straight time. What does the PH in UPHSD stand for? The PH in UPHSD stands for Perpetual Help because UPHSD is University of Perpetual Help 
system delta. Question number 10. On May 19, 2024, the ships INS Shakti, INS Kiltan, and INS Delhi made a goodwill visit to the port of Manila. To what country's navy do these three warships belong? Time. India. India is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. According to the book of Matthew, it is easier for what animal to go through the eye of a needle than a rich person to enter the kingdom of God? I was thinking that most everyone knew that it would be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Question number 12. And the last question for this round, what animals are involved in the Olympic discipline called equestrian sports? Horses. Gem. Horses is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round two. Thank you, Tony Gabi, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Jam is in the lead with 100 points, followed by Tyne with 60 points. At Sina Hans at RC naman tied at third place with 10 points each. Pero alam na alam natin to, hindi pa po tapos ang laban dahil ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check! Points recap tayo, Jam is in the lead with 100 points, followed by Tyne with 60 points, at sina Hans at RC tied at 3rd place with 10 points each. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Oo, dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At isa lang reminder, for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter N answer but not the letter only. So, let's go for those points and for the win. Remember then, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. The national dress, Barong Tagalog, is traditionally made of sheer fabric woven from piña or husi. Famed for generations of craftsmanship in the art of Burda, what is known as the hand embroidery capital of the Philippines? A. Divisoria, Manila B. Camuning, Quezon City C. Lumban, Laguna D. Pakil, Laguna E. Paete, Laguna Okay. So every year, um, there is a festival celebrating the Barong and it is held in Lumban. It's called the Burdang Lumban Festival. It's held every third week of September. So Lumban Laguna is correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Next question from Prof. Marla. Science naman. Which deep sea creature is known to exhibit bioluminescence. A. Jam. Anglerfish. Let me finish reading the choices. A. Whale. B. Octopus. C. Anglerfish. D. Shark. E. Dolphin. Mind reader ka ba? <laughs> Correct answer is C. Anglerfish. K. Check. I think Jam made Prof. Marla very happy yes. today. <laughs> Gulat siya yung reaction niya. Thank you, Prof. Marla. Prof. Lu, next question. Okay, world geography naman. Easter Island is a remote volcanic island in Polynesia, famed for its archaeological sites. Which country governs Easter Island? A. United States B. United Kingdom C. France D. Chile Letter Time. B. United Kingdom Sorry, that's incorrect. Let me continue. Letter E. Brazil Chile annexed Easter Island in 1888. 
1966, the Rapa Nui were granted Chilean citizenship. And in 2007, the island gained the constitutional status of special territory. The correct answer is D, Chile. Thank you. Off to our second round, Prof. Sophie. When an actor in a film or a theatrical performance talks directly to the audience, this is called A. Voice over B. Suspension of disbelief C. Breaking the fourth wall Jam C. Breaking the fourth wall um, Let me finish the options D. Narration E. Illusionism um, The fourth wall is the imaginary barrier between the fictional world and the world of the viewer So C. Breaking the fourth wall is correct Okay, check Marla. Which of the following is a unit of frequency? A. Hertz B. Joule Jam A. Hertz Let me finish reading the choices C. Newton D. Watt E. Volt The correct answer is A. Hertz K. Check I'm very proud to Prof. Marla uh -huh. <laughs> Prof. Lu. Okay, let's go to transportation history the first railway in the Philippines opened in 1892 from Manila to which town in Luzon? A. Tayabas B. Legazpi C. San Fernando D. Cabanatuan E. Dagupan Hans B. Legazpi Sorry, that's incorrect. Letter D. Cabanatuan that's incorrect, sorry. RC. A. Tayabas. Mali rin po. Jam, go for it. Ayaw niya i-risk. <laughs> Ayaw niya i-risk. PNR officially began operations on November 24, 1892 as the Ferrocarril de Manila, Dagupan. The correct answer is E. Dagupan. Sorry. Okay, so we're halfway done, Attorney. Let's do a scores recap. Yes, after that second round, we have Jam in the lead with 190 points, tying in the second in second place with 60 points, Hans in RC with negative five points each. But dito sa next half nate, merong pang 180 points na pwedeng pag-agawan. Correct. So hindi pa natin alam kung sino ang tunay na mananalo today. So wala na natin, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. The churches of San Agustin, Manila, Santa Maria, Ilocos Sur, Tawai, Ilocos Norte, and Miagao, Iloilo were declared UNESCO heritage sites because they are A. Earthquake proof B. In the Baroque style C. Beautiful ruins D. The biggest in the Philippines E. Natural Monuments Letter B in the Baroque style um, All four churches were built from the 16th to the 18th century in the Baroque style Okay, check! Thank you! Prof. Marla What hormone regulates sleep? Time! Hands. Melatonin. Let me read the choices. A. Melatonin. B. Testosterone. C. Insulin. D. Cortisol. E. Oxytocin. The correct answer is A. Melatonin. K. Check. Next question, Prof. Lu. Okay, let's go to Philippine geography. What is the official provincial capital of Cavite? It is also known as the banking capital of the entire province. A. Kawit B. Trece Martires C. Dasmariñas D. Bacoor E. Imus RC E. Imus Cavite President Ferdinand Marcos transferred the provincial capital of Cavite from Trece Martires City to Imus in June 1977. 
This was done under Presidential Decree Number 1163. The correct answer is Imus K. Check. And now we're off to our last round, Prof. Sophie. On January 6, 2024, devotees of the Black Nazarene of Quiapo were allowed to touch and kiss the image in the tradition called Pahalik. The Pahalik is part of what annual religious procession? A. Saya Obando B. Translacion C. Sinulog Time. Letter B. Translacion um, Let me finish. Um, D. Flores de Mayo E. Ati Atihan um, The Pahalik, no? the traditional Pahalik was suspended over the pandemic and it was only resumed early this year. It is part of the Translation Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Marla, next question. What part of the hand is called the pollex? A. Thumb. B. The palm. C. Middle finger. D. Ring finger. E. Pinky finger. The correct answer is A. The thumb. Thank you. Now we're off to our last question for this round. Prof. Lu, go ahead. Okay, U.S. history naman. Who was the first U.S. president elected for a second term? A. James Madison B. George Washington C. Thomas Jefferson D. Abraham Lincoln E. Andrew Jackson Time. Uh, B. George Washington Washington was not only the first U.S. president, but also has the distinction of being the first two-term president. He served from 1789 to 1797. The correct answer is B. George Washington, K-Check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to our future geologists, volcanologists, seismologist Jam. Our K-Check daily winner with a final score of 190 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks also to Tyne, to Hans, and to RC for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Sofia, Professor Marla, and Professor Lou. Marami salamat po, I'm Jules Giang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check! K -Check.